this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute card. Let's get started. I have a scrap of Whisper White. I have another piece of Whisper White. I have a, um, I forgot to measure it. Yep, yeah, four by five and a quarter inch piece of Sahara sand that I have run through the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. I have a card base of Sahara sand which is five and a half by eight and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. I'm going to be using the largest of the scalloped squares from the layering squares and poinsettia petals. And the dies that matches. The poinsettia dies. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do oh, ink colors Old Olive, Real Red, Sahara Sand, and Early Espresso. First thing I'm going to do is stamp my sentiment in Early Espresso. Let me move some of these over. So room to put the one I'm actually working with. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this. It's not inked well enough. When I stamped it down towards the bottom of this piece, I'm going to cut that out with this square. And then I'm going to take Sahara Sand. I'm done with this one so I can put it away. And I'm going to stamp one of these um, Holly leaves. Make sure I'm saying it correctly so I keep, keep catching myself calling it a poinsettia. Okay. And I'm also going to stamp one on the scratch paper here. Okay, then I'm going to take this berry one, the Sahara sand again. And I'm actually I'm going to stamp this over here. I think I'm going to wipe some of the ink off of the stem. Okay, then I'm going to stamp two of these onto my scratch paper. Okay. And I'm going to bring in the uh, real red. And these little berries to fill in those berries. Line them up as best you can. They're not perfect, that's fine. The same on these ones. Okay, now we're going to come in with the old olive and we're going to do the inside of those leaves. Okay. 
Okay, that's all the stamping. Now we just need to die cut. So we're going to take our scalloped square and we're going to die cut this piece like that. We're going to die cut these out and I will be right back when I'm done with that. Okay, I've got all those pieces cut out. Now we can assemble this card. Let's move this because you can actually see it better without that. So I'm going to bring in this piece and I'm going to adhere it. Well, first I need to do the ribbon. Now my ribbon is not stamping up. It's some I had in my stash. I probably got it at Joann's or something like that, but it's um, a nice, uh, like a crumb cake color and, and uh, red gingham. And I put glue dots on the back of this piece. I'm going to put it, let's see, it's about an inch or so from the edge. And I'm going to wrap those glue dots around the back side. Bring in my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. I'm going to glue this piece down. And it's more towards the bottom and about a quarter of an inch or half an inch from the side. You might have to hold it for a second because it's sitting on top of that ribbon. Okay. Now I'm going to put it, this in first. I'm going to take a glue dot for the bottom. Make sure it's curled over. Then I'm going to take a large dimensional for the top. Take that back off. And that's going to start right here and overlap just like that. And on the, these, I'm going to uh, put a little bit of wet glue because it's too big for a glue dot. Let it sit for a second. Okay, and I'm going to bring in some of the small dimensionals. I'm going to put a small dimensional on the back of these top berries. Oops. Okay, then I'm going to take those backs off. One is going to get tucked in right here. The other one. It's going to get tucked in right here. Then I'm going to bring a bow that I've made with that same ribbon. And I've got glue dots on the back of it. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, now this can get adhered to the front of our card. I'm just going to use the wet glue. And I actually am using the debossed side of the card instead of the embossed side. something different. There we go. Make sure that stays stuck. There's a card we just made together. Here's the one I did previously. Now the only difference on this card, instead of cutting these out individually, I did um, partial die cutting. I think you can see the little pieces in there still. 
It was kind of difficult to do. I ended up cutting this leaf out by accident. So I figured this is much easier. And then you get that full effect of that square in the background. Well, thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.